and ask Mrs. Glove to give you the book I set aside. It's the Indiana State Educational Journal, 1890 to 1910. Uh, it's a big brown volume with black corners. Do I have to? I, I've written it all down for you. You won't have to talk to anyone. Thank you, dear. Now what are you up to? Why do you read books at this hour of the night? I have a feeling the Indiana Journal is going to help me poke some large holes in the professor's grades. Well, I give up. At your age, if you don't mind my asking, what kind of white knight do you expect to come riding along? Well, I'm not waiting for Luther Griner, who backs me into the ancient history shelf every time he comes into the library. He does? Mm -hmm. Or Ed Gamage or that buggy of his with the removable back seat. <laughs> I'm not waiting for a man in white shining armor either. Oh. 